I stand at the top of my stairs, sock toes curling into the carpet as one hand squeezes the door handle, the other hovers over the light switch, trying to, trying to decide if it's safe to turn the lights out. It's nearly 7 at night, I have about a half an hour before sundown, but it's just dim enough in the stairwell to make me doubt if it really matters. I stare down at the welcome mat. Though I see nothing, I know the thing that lives at the bottom of my stairs is watching me too. I know it's gauzy, wide eyes never blink, and that its teeth thin and too long for its mouth, extending far past its leathery lips cannot smile. But I feel I've, as if it's grinning at me. I know it's gaunt. Lanky limbs are curled and crouched around its small body, waiting to lunge the second the lights out. I know it isn't real. If it, it, if it was real, I would be able to see it. But even as I remind myself of this, I leave the lights on. You see, I made them up. The creature that lives at the bottom of my stairs, I've always had an active imagination. Many children create monsters or imaginary friends with rules. A man who runs beside his car, but can only run in the shadow of the vehicle. A ghost who best friend, a ghost who best friends you, but it's invincible to anyone older than you. A monster who waits at the bottom of your stairs, but can't move until the lights are out. I'm not sure why I never stopped doing this. I'm approaching my mid twenties, and most children stop around ten, or at least they stop talking about it. I try to keep my concerns to myself. Though I have never been able to explain myself a time or two as to why I've been able or be the one who closes the door. I'm the only one who knows what he's doing because I created him. The worst part is I know that he only exists because I think he does. There has been weeks or months where I can go up the stairs to my apartment and not feel his eyes on my back. His claws like fingers waiting to rip into me. All it takes is a stray thought. And he's there again. There have been times where I was too slow to close my door after I turned the light out. Nothing happens right away, though I know he is in my apartment with me. There is always a chill in my spine and a cool stone in my stomach. When he gets past my door, but it's not like he drags me down the stairs or anything. For some reason, though I know he's capable of killing me, he doesn't. Even when I succeed, sometimes there's a dull thudding noise that starts at 2am and continues until sunrise. Like he's slamming his dry callus, two big hands against the door, demanding I open it and let him in. This has been the hardest part about accepting he is not real. Because I have had guests ask me about the, the noise. I never know what to tell him. Though on the nights he gets it, I can feel him watch me from the doorway to the room. Which unfortunately shares a wall with that stairwell. He sits in the same spot all night. Breath wheezing out his squished, bat-like nose. Body twitching and touring as he runs his claw fingers over his face in anticipation. Though I will never claim to actually have seen him, I will say I feel as if a trick of the light or a stray shadow have sometimes looked as if they were trying to reveal him to me. My biggest worry is I think he's getting closer, which each time I fail. He started right outside my doorway, but he was a mere three feet from me the last time. I can't really tell because he isn't real and because I can't see him, but I think he's getting more worked up. I don't know what he's so excited about, but I can guess it will happen when he has made his way to sit at the foot of my bed. I think he's getting faster. I have been failing more often than that than not to keep him out. It won't be long now before he reaches his goal. Whatever that goal is, maybe it's to torment me, feed off my fear, or what he'll do next. If that's his goal,
He's succeeding. It's killing me. I can't sleep knowing he's there. I know he's never attacked me in the past, but I'm always scared that tonight will be the night. He decides that enough is enough and goes for it. My lack of sleep is hurting my job. My paranoia is ruining my relationships. All I do is sit at home and hide away from the creature I don't know how to stop. I'm sick of it. So tonight, I'm not going to hide. Tonight, I'm leaving the door to the stairwell open when I turn off the light. I'm turning off all the lights in my shitty apartment and I'm going to sit on my bed in the dark. Tonight, when his twisted body lunges and lurks its way into my room, I'm not going to pretend I don't see him. I'm not going to pretend that just because I made him up, that means he's not real. I'm going to look him in those disgusting, cloudy eyes and accept my fate. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of suffering.